North Korea says the medium long range missile it tested over the weekend can carry a nuclear warhead. It was the communist dictatorship's seventh missile test this year. According to U.S. intelligence, the medium-range missile classified as a KN-17 was launched near North Korea's west coast. Japan's military says it reached an altitude of more than 1,200 miles before splashing down in the Sea of Japan. A U.S. official told Reuters it landed about 60 miles off the coast of Russia. It was the first successful test after a string of recent failures. The regime continues to test banned ballistic missiles despite worldwide condemnation. But the U.S. military says the flight pattern of today's launch was not consistent with an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM, the type that could reach the U.S. mainland. In January, Kim Jong-un said an ICBM test was imminent, but it hasn't happened yet. This shorter-range test comes days after South Korea elected a new president who wants to engage Pyongyang, not isolated. But today, his spokesman said dialogue is only possible if North Korea changes course. In a statement, the White House called for stronger sanctions and pointed that the missile landed near Russian territory, adding that President Donald Trump cannot imagine that Russia is pleased. Russia's president expressed concern over the launch in Beijing. Today, China called for restraint and calm. China is North Korea's only major ally and has been pushing for negotiations. Over the weekend, a senior North Korean official said the regime would be open to talks with the U.S. under the right circumstances.